What's up, Xiaomi fans? Christian here. Welcome back to All About Me. I hope you're all safe and keeping safe and still staying at home as much as possible. And today we are going to talk about a common question on the Redmi Note 9S, which is about its display. So a lot are saying that uh, it has some bleeding issue when it comes to its display. So we're gonna find that out. So let's go. The backlight bleed is characterized as a light leaking around the edges or corners of an LCD display. This is due to the way that displays work. They use a light behind the panel that faces the display. So backlight bleeding is simply some of the backlights leaking through. This is a common issue for LCD screen phones. And before I send this phone as a prize, I've tested it and here's what I found out on which screen color it's more visible. And just for us to mention, the MIUI 11 updated for the Redmi Note 9S, which is the 11.0.6.0, which focus on optimization issues with the display. But unfortunately, I don't think this will help because this is a hardware issue, not a software issue. So I opened the FQC test built in with the Redmi Note 9S for its MIUI 11. And uh, I was trying to find the, the display test, but I can't find it. We can only see the color test. So it tests uh, the RGB, red, green, blue, which I don't see the leak anywhere or the bleeding anywhere for uh, these three colors. So they're, they're still even, which is good. So it's not very um, visible. If you go to the blue color, there is a slight pale on the sides, but it's not really that visible, especially with, the, with this camera uh, footage. But if you look closely, uh, you will see a little bit of that uh, pale or fade on the sides. But again, it's not very visible. I, I, it doesn't bother me at all uh, looking at this. So I tried it on the black background. Uh, yes, it is very visible with the black background. You'll see the backlight, but unfortunately I can't uh, show it properly on this footage. We can try on another background. I probably can try a gray color background, but honestly, usage-wise, it doesn't bother me at all. I don't know what, what you think about this. Um, it's not that visible for me. I don't really look out for it uh, while, while using the screen or maybe just day-to-day -day use. Okay, let's try switching off the light. Uh, yeah, you'll see a little bit of that, but it's it's not that uh, clear on this footage. But um, hands-on, you will really see the, uh, the bleeding uh, backlight uh, bleed on the Redmi Note 9S. There you can see a bit of that, but not very visible. Okay, so let's try a, this is a gray, close to a dark gray background. And from here it's more uh, visible so as you can see on the sides the edges of the Redmi Note 9s you will see a uh, an even color or, or backlight uh, coming out from it but personally I it doesn't really bother me at all while, while using this um, it, it doesn't affect my usage uh, gameplay or watching videos so I'm, I'm, I'm fine with that. Uh, I believe this has been going uh, with other models as well. So I'm gonna compare this uh, with my other uh, models, which is using LCD IPS LCD screen. This is a Redmi K30. So I am seeing a slight increase of uh, more visible uh, bleeding backlight uh, for the Redmi K30. Uh, this is the same picture that I use on the Redmi uh, on the Redmi Note 9S and uh, let me try it on the Poco. The Poco is worse compared to the other two. So it's quite heavy uh, backlight bleed on the Poco F1. This has been a known issue since they launched the Poco F1 way back two years ago. And there you have it. That's my honest opinion about the display issue that people are talking about. So let me know in the comments what you think and I'll see you guys on the next video.